Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, my brothers and sisters. I hope that your day is great so far. I hope your day is fantastic. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. And so guys, I'm on here, as you can see, I'm in my car. I'm coming to you from Shanika's car, okay, this afternoon. You guys know I'm pretty versatile. You know, wherever the Lord leads me to, to release a word, that's exactly where I'm going to release it. Because what's most important is not where I am in the background, but what's important is that you receive what it is that, that God has for you, okay? So guys, it is a bit hot here um, in South Carolina. Um, the, the temperatures are up and down, and today it happens to be close to 90, I believe, yeah. 86 on my dashboard. So... I have the air going. If you hear it, please forgive me, but I'm going to need it because if I don't have it on, I'm going to be sweating like crazy, okay? So people of God, um, I want to talk to you today about your position, about your potential position. Hmm. There is a potential position of prominence that is on the way for many of you that are believers, many of you that are living in righteousness for the body of Christ, okay? But before I get into this word, um... I want to remind you guys that although we are facing a crisis, because we are facing a crisis right now, um, the Lord never told any of us to stop living. The, the Lord never told any of us to stop expecting the things that he has promised us to do. Okay, God is still in the business of, of, of blessing. He's still in the business of releasing, okay, the rewards. He still has a window of heaven that he can open and pour out his blessings none of that stuff stops god's word does not stop just because there's something going on in the earth okay god's word never returns void and it doesn't matter where we are or what's happening god is still going to do those things that we desire he's still going to answer prayers he's still going to help us live a glorious life hallelujah even in the midst of trouble okay um, and, and, and why do we get this? We get this, it, it, this, this, the blessings and promises, everything that's good. Okay. This experience comes with knowing Jesus Christ. Okay. That is one of the, of the rewards that we get as believers. We get to inherit the things that the Lord is giving us because of who we know, because of Jesus Christ, okay? And the Bible tells us that uh, mostly in Psalms and other books too, but for me, I see it mostly in Psalms about how God is always on the lookout for us. He's always providing us with something. He, he still honors his promises. He does all of these things even in the middle of trouble. Hallelujah. So guys, the Lord wants me to discuss the purpose of your current position first, okay? God is saying your current position is very important. It's very important. Why? Because the assignment that God has for you to complete, okay? The call that God wants you to answer, the destiny that God wants you to ultimately fulfill is connected to the current position, and your current position is what's going to manifest the position of prominence. Let me say this again. God is saying your current position is very important. It's very important for you to see what it is and why it is, okay? Because it is connected to the manifestation of the position of prominence that is coming. Hallelujah. Guys, the Lord is very aware that many of you are in positions that don't feel good. There, you, some of you all are, are in positions that are uncomfortable. Um, some of you all just plain flat out just don't like where you are. Okay. All right. I can hear many of you saying, I hate this job or I hate this relationship or I hate this or I don't like this person or I don't like this situation. I don't like this circumstances. This, these are the things that are happening and in, in, in what are being said internally and externally in your current position. But God is saying, um, people of God, that he needs for you to understand that where you are currently is not an accident. You are not where you are by accident. And God is even going on as far as to say that even if you made the wrong decision, and it's the reason why you are where you are right now, you're still where you're supposed to be. You're still where you're supposed to be. God is saying that he has a way of using what was meant for evil. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that and turn it 
around for your good. Okay. So, 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 so some examples that God was giving me, he said, some of my children are positioned right now in houses, um, apartments, workplaces, relationships, okay, um, jobs, churches, you know, things like that, that you're not so fond of right now. Some of you are not very fond of the people that are in your life. <laughs> Some of you are not so happy, you know, with the job you have, Um some of you are not pleased with the church that you go to. Um, there's some things that are in disruption in your current position. But God is saying that he's allowing for you to remain attached to these situations because it's intentional by him. It's, it's, it's intentional that God is leaving you in the position that you're currently in, okay? Um, the Lord is also saying to tell them that he has a purpose for everything that we do. OK, and he wants you all to receive what is happening in your life, the things that you're seeing that are not adequate, the things that you're currently seeing as not being good enough. God is saying that just because you feel like what you're in is not good, that doesn't mean that there isn't a position of prominence that's going to come out of that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is saying that many of us have plans in place. We have ways of thinking of where we're going to end up and how we're going to do things. And I hear 99.9% .9 of the time that we make a plan for our lives is usually different than what God has for us. Okay. And so God is saying that as a result of that, um, because our plans are not the same as what God has for us, then we're in this state of being uncomfortable. We're, we're in a state of being unsatisfied. We're in a state of being unwilling to do the things that God is calling us to do because of our current position. But God is saying that our current position is part of our purpose. God is saying that he's not here to hurt you guys. He's not here to have you suffer. But God is saying that the situation in the position that you're currently in, hallelujah, is actually what he's using you, using to steer you in the right direction. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's using it to steer you in the right direction. There's a certain path that God wants you to take in this particular moment in time, okay? And, 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 and God is saying that everything that he permits in your life is going to turn out for your good and he says many of you are worried about the fact that you've taken the wrong turn and so now you are where you are but god is saying that he needs for you not to worry about that he's going to shift it he's going to shift the direction of where he has placed you okay and he's saying that everything in every situation in every circumstance and every shift in your life is actually being permitted by him and it's all going to work out for your good and his glory hallelujah glory to god so guys with that being said um god is saying for those of you that are allowing for yourselves to be shifted that are allowing for yourselves to be pruned he is going to select you for a position of prominence hallelujah and God is saying that position of prominence is coming because of the warfare that you have been experiencing in your current position. Um, the position of prominence is coming because you've decided to stay in your wilderness. Okay. God is saying that while you're experiencing opposition, he's saying, don't be so quick to abandon ship. I did a video on this and I'm going to attach it. He says, if you have not received clear instructions by him, in this hour, okay, if you have not received clear instructions by him in this hour, you have not received a clear command about what you're supposed to be doing, then he says, don't move. Because many of you are trying to get out. Many of you are trying to leave. God is saying many of you are trying to change the direction of the plan that he has for you because you don't like it, because you're uncomfortable. But God is saying, this is how you're going to know that the position that you're currently in is of him. 
God is saying that this is an area where many of us are actually deceived as believers. When we try to get out of a situation that we feel is not for us and we're basing our decisions off of our emotions, okay, instead of what the Holy Spirit is saying. God is saying that he doesn't want you to be so quick to try to move without first knowing from him whether it is a clear command. Okay, so God is saying that for those of you who are in a situation where you don't feel like you have, you, you want to leave, but you haven't heard it from God, God is saying that he wants you to pray and fast until you get the answer. Pray and fast until you get the answer. Okay, don't leave or abandon ship without knowing first that God is the one that told you to move. Okay, and in the meantime, while you're waiting on God, this is what what, what God is saying, um, how you can tell whether you're in a God-given situation and you're, you're in a God-given position. God is saying that if you are in a position where you cannot control it, in other words, no matter which way you turn, you can't do nothing about it. Everything is being directed to you and you have no input. You have no say-so. You can't get out. You can't leave. You don't have the money. You don't have the, the, the means to get out. God is saying that that is clearly a sign that he is at work in your life. He is at work in your life because you have no control over the situation. Okay. God is saying that when you are in the situation of a position that you have no control of, what he expects for you to do is to utilize his tools. He's given you the word of God. He's given you um, patience and peace that you can get from him when you ask for. He's given you the ability to praise and worship and to pray. Hallelujah. God is saying that those are the things that are going to help you. He says his grace is sufficient for you in this time. And he, you have all you need to be able to overcome your current position. Okay. And so, so, so God asked me to use Joseph. I hear Joseph in the spirit. Many of you know, just like Joseph, the Bible implies that Joseph was in, in it was in prison. Um, he was in prison for like two years. OK, and, 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 and what was Joseph Joseph's warfare circumstances while he was in prison? It was the fact that he was being detained. He was in a prison. Hallelujah. That was what? Beyond his control. Joseph had no control over being in prison. Right. He was wrongfully placed in prison by his brothers because what? They were jealous of him, okay? And so instead of Joseph being able to live out his life with his family and possibly enjoying his youth, what happens to him? He gets thrown into prison, wrongfully in prison because of the jealousy of someone else, right? All right. So, 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 so that's what God is saying in this hour, people of God, that Many of you are in situations that feel like you're in a prison and, and, and you don't have any control over the situation. But what happens to Joseph, though? God wants you to use this as a personal an example. What happens to Joseph, even though he's in prison, even though he's in a place that was beyond his control? He interprets a dream. He interprets a dream for Potiphar, right? And what happens is, is that when he interprets a dream for Potiphar, he gets promoted. Hallelujah. He gets promoted as a house attendant and Potiphar um, gives Joseph control and command over everything that he owns in the kingdom. OK, so God is saying that some of you are going through similar experiences that Joseph went through. OK, um, and the Lord is saying that many of you feel it coming. Um, many of you feel the heaviness. Hallelujah. Of the imprisonment. Um, but God is saying that while you're feeling the heaviness of the imprisonment, he wants you to know that there's going to be a sudden shift. There's going to be um, a sudden um, 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 interpretation that you're going to do for somebody. There's going to be something that you're going to do. There's going to be something that you say. Your name is going to come up. There's going to be something that you've done in the past. Hallelujah. There's going to be something that is going to be answered in the prayers that you've had over the years or the months or the days. There's going to be something that is going to be placed out into the atmosphere by God. And suddenly your position of prominence is going to come. Hallelujah. And so, so guys, the Lord wants you all to focus on this promise. He wants you to focus on the promise, the promise that came to Joseph when he was in prison. He wants you to focus on the promise, prom, the promise that is coming. 
He wants you to see your current position as being valuable instead of hating it or disliking it or being dissatisfied. God is saying he, you, he wants you to know that what you are enduring in your current position is actually considered to be the thing that's going to manifest the position of promise. God wants you to know that everything that is happening in your life right now is, is, is all going to be for his glory and it's going to turn out for your good. Okay. So guys, get ready for the position of prominence. Get ready for the position of prominence. Many of you are in Joseph situations right now. Your current position is in a prison where you have no control, but God is saying that you can do it. God is saying that he does not want you to abandon ship. God is saying he wants you to continue to trust him and utilize the tools that he has given you to stay in your current position because God is saying that your current position is connected to the manifestation of your position of prominence and your position of prominence is very high level. It's very priestly. It's very anointed. It comes with favor and abundance. It comes with the windows of heaven heaven opening. It comes with you having more than what you've had before. It comes with people recognizing you that never recognized you before. It comes with elevation. It comes with blessing. It comes for the fulfillment of promises. Hallelujah. It comes with healing in your body. It comes from this. It comes with salvation of your family and your spouse. Hallelujah. It comes with the things that you can only get by knowing who Jesus Christ is. So God is saying to stay in your current position because it's connected to your position of promise. God is saying if you will hang in there, if you will trust him, it's going to come. It's going to come suddenly, just like it did for Joseph. You hear me? All right. So that is the word for today, guys. I love you. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. The Lord is saying to read the story of Joseph. That's going to help encourage you during this time of imprisonment. Okay. So many of you locked up right now in the house. Okay. On the job, you know, you're, you're having these imprisonment, you know, type situation. And God is saying he wants you to take this time to read the story of Joseph. And I'll put the, um, the books and the scriptures down in, in the bottom of the description box. Okay. Love you guys. I want you to be blessed, okay? All right, bye.